Hello everyone, this is Broby One Kenobi, also known as Kyle. <clears throat> and I'm back here on the Feed the Beast server. Feeding the beast, so to speak. Um, I've been run letting my quarry run for the last, uh, I don't know, a couple hours. Um, so it's pulling up some stuff. Um, let's show you some of the haul so far. Um, all three of these chests are full of glass. And this one is nearly full. <clears throat> um, so that was one of the big things. The other thing is up there, all that sandstone. Lots and lots of sandstone. We'll never need that ever again. Um, and it's it's throwing it in here by default because I don't have a path set up for sandstone in my um, sorting system. So that's fine because the... Um, blah, 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 blah. I'm just been moving it over here. Um, we pretty much reached the point where it's going to be pulling out mostly cobblestone and ores and whatnot. And you can see here already, 24 stacks in that one, 17 in that one. So, got quite a bit. Um, also went down and did some mining myself. Um, found, used my fortune pick to get 14 plus this nine diamonds. So, uh, oh wait, there's actually more too, isn't there? I thought there was. Oh yeah, I left 13 in here. Um, two things I wanted to do today, and one of them I'm probably not going to get to till like tonight after I go to my uh, class. But one of them that I'm going to do right now <coughs> is I want to craft a Wrath Igniter. Because the Wrath Igniter is going to help me make e uh, what's called extra dimensional storage upgrades, which go on these barrels. Um, and it turns the barrel from holding 64 stacks of 64 to 1,024 stacks of 64. So a lot. <laughs> um, in a nutshell, it's going to save me a lot of storage space. Um, I may not even need any more barrels than those to run this quarry. So that's what uh, I want the Wrath Igniter for. So what we're going to do here is I have these materials here and this is what we need to craft one of the things that we will need. And I think it goes like this, if I recall properly. Yes, a craft packet, obsidian, which I can't remember, I think this is part of factorization, but I'm not 100% sure. In any event, let's see, if I switch this around, okay, no, so this is the right way. Anyway, so if I craft this, we need to put this into a craft packet stamper. So I have to make one of these, which is simply a crafting table, piston, four cobblestone, and iron. So it's not too bad. Um, one, two, three, iron. One, two, three, four. Um, should, no, I don't have enough wood there. Do I have wood here? Not much. Um, whoops. It's a crafting table, and I, no, I, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. We'll need them eventually, I guess. Um, and I know somewhere around here I crafted some pistons. Where did I leave the pistons? Hmm. Thought I crafted some pistons. Hmm. Well, anyway, let's get started on this. I will go look in my chests over there for pistons. Pistons, where might you be, pistons? Ah, there we go. There's a piston. <coughs> I don't think this machine needs power either. Um, fairly certain I can just grab this and place it somewhere. Um, I don't know, I'm not going to be using this very much, so I'll throw it in this corner. And we throw this in here. And there you go. Diamond shards. That's what we needed. Just what we needed. And we need... We need one piece of netherrack to make... Or another brick to make a wrath igniter, which unfortunately I do not have nether brick over here. So I'd have to run back to my other base. But I pretty much just wanted to show you guys that. Um, you know what? We'll, we'll pause here and I'll go run back to my base and resume recording then. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. And we've gotten another brick. I think we can just do this right here. And bam, we have a Wrath Igniter. Um, this is kind of like a flint and steel, only it's way, way, way more powerful. Um, the other thing I need is some iron ingots. Um, hmm. I need 6 times 9. 9 times 6, 60. 
no, 54. So we'll put 10 back here. And I'm pretty sure that's all I need to do what I need to do. We're going to make some dark iron ingots. Or some dark iron. Um, so what you want to do is go way far away from anything that's flammable. That you don't want to catch on fire, that you don't want to burn. Because this stuff will mess everything in the area up if it uh, burns. So I'm just going to kind of go way out here over... Yeah, right here is probably good where there's like nothing. So you want to plop down iron in block form. And the Wrath Igniter will light anything, like whatever you light, any adjacent blocks of the same type will catch on fire. So if I light the dirt here, it, well, it's going to be really bad, so I'm not going to do it. But if you do the iron, you see this fire looks different. And it'll do this for a little while before it turns into dark iron. Um, and you'll see in a few moments that it becomes dark iron. And then it'll start some regular fires around nearby. Yep, there it goes. There it goes. So that's dark iron. And then once it finishes burning, you can mine it up, just as if it were regular iron, and all is well. Perfect. So let's go ahead and mine this up. And you see blocks of dark iron, and each one of these gives you four dark iron ingots. Each d four dark iron ingots are required to make one of the extra dimensional storage upgrades that I was talking about for the barrels. So that's what we were going to do today. Um, I don't remember what else goes into them. If I don't have all the materials, well, I'm going to have to do it tonight because I'm running out of time before I have to leave for my class. And yeah, let's see. Extra dimensional upgrade. So I need two blaze rods, an ender pearl, a barrel, and leather. I think I have all of that here. Whoops, here. Um, unfortunately, I only have four ender pearl. Although, hold on, where's my minium stone? There's an easy way to get some free ender pearls. And I don't know, some people might consider this cheating, but it's in the game. Um, the minium stone, this is from Equivalent Exchange. You can make ender pearls with four iron, will give you an ender pearl. So, to me, it's just easier than trying to go out and find endermen and kill them. Let's make like seven. Because iron, there's so much iron. And the minium stone does take damage, so eventually it will run out and I'll have to make another one. So it's not completely OP like the old equivalent exchange was. Alright, and we need, what did I say, two? So we need 12 of these. 12. And so we only need six of these. We need some leather. We need six leather. Do we have more leather over here? Probably. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means four, five, six, seven, eight. What's the last ingredient? Oh, barrels. I have some of those somewhere. And this is running a little bit longer than I wanted to, but hey, what are you gonna do? All right, so let's convert all this into the dark iron ingots, and I'm pretty sure we can go ahead and craft this now. So if I recall correctly, it's like this. And there we go. Six. Perfect. Let's get this out of my inventory. I don't want to accidentally light anything on fire. So, all you do, I believe, is you run over here and you right click on the barrel, if I'm not mistaken. No. Shift right click. Yep, there we go. And so you see it kind of turned a little bit darker than the normal barrel. That's because it can now hold a lot more. So, we're going to do this with all of these. I'm not going to necessarily do it with the gravel one yet because gravel it's not something you come across too much. If it seems like I'm running out of space I will go ahead and do the gravel one as well but I don't know that I'm going to need it. We shall see. But that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today. Um, yeah, so uh, I guess that's about it. Do I have anything? Let me just make sure here. Nope. 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 Okay, good. Um, and like I said, um, later tonight I will record another episode where I make nano armor. That's my next goal. I want to make some nano suit armor. 
Uh, it's pretty much as good as diamond except that it uh, uses energy instead of durability so it will never run out essentially so it's pretty cool it's pretty pretty good stuff so I'm excited to get that but uh, yeah so if you like the video please go ahead and click the like button subscribe if you're not already and I will see you guys in the next part so thanks for watching peace